Hey friends and family and welcome again to Breakfast of Champions. I'm PY and I want to say thank you for following me on this journey. You know, we're living in a time where so many relationships and marriages are crumbling and marriage is God's institution. In fact, God created marriage for you and me to replicate what relationships should look like in heaven. You know, so I don't want you guys to miss this, whether you're uh, divorced, you're widowed, you're uh, uh, married, you're single, uh, you're preparing to get married. I need you guys to really follow me as we dig deeper in the five stages of relationship man if you want to know what that is go ahead and watch the last three episodes i'm not going to go too far back but today i really want to look at healing and intimacy healing and intimacy in our last episode i talked about a love bank you know and we all have love banks and a love bank simply is whenever you do something to meet the need of your partner you deposit some love in their heart, in their bank. It could be five credits, 10 credits, 20 credits, depending uh, uh, on the magnitude of what you do, you put something in that person. You know, for example, you could be coming home from work and you're tired and you're like, man, I wonder if my wife would have cooked you know, and she's probably at home with the kids. So let me pick up some food or better yet, let me call her and say, hey babe, How's your day been? Are you okay? Hope all is well at home. Um, is there anything to eat? She says, no. All right, cool. How would you like that I pick us up some Chinese? Is that okay? You know, she immediately feels, oh wow, he is thoughtful enough to ask me what I want to eat as well. You know, many men, and I'm not ragging or tagging on men right now, but many men, when we come home from work, it's just, where's my food? You know, I, I want to eat, we're hungry, you know, <laughs> we're cre- we're, uh, <laughs> we're habits of, um, we're creatures of habit, we just, we just want to eat, we're home, we're tired, where is my food? You know, how about you take time to just spend some time with your woman? And see, I- I'm talking to you now from mistakes that I have made, you know, we, we get home and we're tired, we've been working all day, we don't want to hear anything, you know, we probably just want to go upstairs and be in our own space and rest and not say a word and just sleep and get ready for work the next day. But you've got to also understand that she's also had a tough day, especially if she's been taking care of the children. So just spending a few minutes with her to be like, baby, you okay? How are you doing? You need a foot rub, a bubble bath, or you know what? Let me take over, you know, let let me watch the kids for a few minutes. That goes a long way. And see, the more you do things like that, you are depositing love in that person. You are depositing Uh, in that person's love bank and that person's love bank begins to go up now it is it takes a long time to build up a love bank it takes a very long time to build up a love bank why because you've got to be consistent consistency will help anything to grow and lack of consistency will kill anything you know um i like gardening and I'm really into horticulture and, you know, uh, uh, landscaping and all this kind of stuff. And one of the things that gardening has taught me is you've got to be consistent. If you want to grow something, you've got to watch it. You've got to nurture it. You've got to protect it. You've got to cover it. You've got to be attentive to it. And it's the same thing with relationships. If you want to have a healthy relationship, if you want to have healthy conflict, if you want to be able to deal with things and not go to bed mad or, you know, hold grudges or um, hold unforgiveness against one another, you've got to be able to learn how to be consistent in building a love bank. So if you do this on a Monday, you've also got to learn to do it, maybe if not on a Wednesday, I'm sorry, uh, if not on a Tuesday, on a Wednesday. You've got to be consistent in building a love bank. It's like a building. A building takes a long time to build, maybe about roughly four, five, six months. But if I want to knock a building down, it takes only a couple of hours. And that's the same thing with a love bank. It's so hard to build up, but it's so easy to deplete. You know, things that can deplete a love bank, lying. When you break trust, disrespect, dishonor, cheating, you know, these are just some of the few things that can deplete a love bank instantaneously. A love bank takes such a long time to build up. And what you've also got to understand is to build a love bank, you do so in the stage of intimacy. You do so in the stage of intimacy because now you know this person. 
You know what they like. You know their five love languages, whether it's touch or quality time or acts of service, you know, or words of affirmation, whatever it may be. You know this person and you're getting to know them a lot better. So now you've got to be consistent. Consistency will help anything to grow and lack of consistency will kill anything. So in your relationship and in your marriage, how are you being consistent building the love bank of your partner? Or are you depleting it by some of the actions that you're making on a daily basis? Now here, I I, want to take time to talk about cheating, infidelity. You know, whenever we watch movies, and the guy or the girl cheat, and the guy's like, especially if you're into Nollywood, you know, it's like, ah, I don't know how this happened. Ah, call cool, Yemi. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? The, the guy's like, ah, it's the devil. The devil made me do it. Ah, where's my clothes? I, I don't understand, you know. To a certain extent, he's not lying. To a certain extent, he's not lying. Now, listen, statistically, it's been proven that the majority of men who cheat actually cheat with women who aren't as good looking as their wives. So cheating to a certain extent for many men isn't about what she looks like. It's about the respect. And I'll explain that to you. If a man is not getting the necessary respect and honor in his home, and then he goes to work and he meets, I don't know, Chantel. Oh no, let's call her Becky with the good hair. He meets Becky and Becky's like, hey man, you're looking really good today. Have you been to the gym? Man, your muscles are growing. Or that suit, re- uh, that suit really fits you good. It- it's a good color on you. Or man, is-, is that a new perfume? That perfume smells really, really good. You know, the man begins to feel like, oh wow, my wife didn't notice the new perfume. My wife didn't notice that I've been to the gym. My wife didn't even compliment me on my suit. But here's Becky with the good hair at work and she sees everything. Instantaneously, what happens to the man is, Inside of him, there is a deposit. He begins to develop feelings for Becky because Becky is being consistent with the compliments that she is making towards him. Before you know what happens, he's texting you, hey babe, I've got to work late. We've seen it in every movie. See, when a man or a woman cheats, it doesn't just happen. Now, there are some instances where men and women just cheat and it's instantaneous, but that's not because of a love bank. That's because they have issues that they did not deal with before they came into the marriage. A lot of people are sexual addicts or sex, they're addicted to sex, sex addicts. And that, that's a whole different case. We, we ain't going to get to that today, but that's a whole different case. If you meet someone and they, they can just cheat like that out of a blue, may, that's nothing to do with a love bank. That's everything to do with being addicted to sex and just being addicted to pleasure. But what I'm talking about is a love bank and how when people cheat, sometimes it's not always from a, I wanted to do this. It's simply from a place of she met a need or he met a need that my partner was not meeting. It could be an emotional need. It could be a physical need. It could be a financial need. It could be a mental need. When somebody else begins to meet the need of your partner, that person begins to deposit in your partner's life where you're meant to be depositing. And this is where the issues begin to happen. The text message is, babe, I'm working late, or Han, I ain't going to be home on time. And when you look at it, who are they spending that time with? The time that they are meant to be spending with you at home and your children or just you is the time that they're spending with Becky because Becky has been consistent in complimenting. Becky has been consistent with maybe just the touch here and there or the laugh pats or laughing at the jokes that aren't funny. And before you know what happens, there's a work seminar and he says, oh, babe, I'm going to be away for a couple of days. And uh, him and Becky hook up at the work seminar and they hit it off once or twice. And then that becomes a consistent thing. He didn't cheat because he wanted to. She didn't cheat because she wanted to. When someone cheats, statistically, it has been proven it's because a need is not being met. And that's where intimacy comes in. Because the better you know your partner and the more consistent you are, in developing uh, uh, relations with your partner, whether it's going out on date nights or going to hang out with the family or doing games nights or spending time with the children together, 
you begin to build intimacy with one another and you begin to really understand how you guys think. In our next episode, we're going to look at this from a scriptural perspective. I wanted to do this first without scripture so I can talk to those of you who aren't really churchy and those of you who are. But now I'm going to take it to the word. So, Father, I pray for your children as they, as they go this week. I ask, oh God, that you open their minds for the next episode of Breakfast of Champions. I pray for every marriage struggling, every relationship at this moment. I ask, oh God, for love. Let your love reign. I ask for healing. I ask for intimacy, greater depths of intimacy between husband and wife in marriage. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, family, thank you so much for joining me for Breakfast of Champions. I'm PY, and it's so good to have you guys on this morning. If you've been blessed by this episode, go ahead and drop a bowl, because you already know breakfast has been served. God bless you.